Alright folks, this is what we're playing for, Tadpole, uh, uh, Ocean Color. It's a fluorescent green. The fluorescent colors need less light to show up in the water, okay? I got quite a few baits that are fluorescent color. Uh, this is the, yep, this is the uh, bruiser color in the prey bait. I don't know if I showed you all these before or not. I know I showed you the prey bait, I don't know if I showed you these colors. This is the blue moon color. I thought I would share that with you again tonight. This is the Buster color. Yeah. All right. There's eight colors in the Prey Bait. They're selling pretty good. The flash, flash color I restocked this week. It's been raining here since Sunday. So I've been in the shop working some. I replaced them this week. That was down to two packs of those. And I was down to like three or four packs of the Movie Star color. I got those restocked. Okay. And I've been restocking jigs today. The uh, Fish Head jigs, which has a, with their eighth ounce and a size four. Uh, I was out of them, completely out of them. Somebody bought all I had. Uh, I didn't have like four packs left. Somebody bought all four of them here last week. So I got those restocked today. And the uh, 1 16th and 1 32nd ounce num size fours. Plain. Not painted. I was low on I got all that restocked today. So there you go. That's what I've been working on today. So right now, I think I got everything stocked. The Stinger and the Stinger Juniors, the original ones, some a lot of colors I'm out of. A couple of people have asked. I'm not restocking them. We're switching over to the BA Stinger. The BA Stinger I came out this spring, right? It's an inch and three quarter. It fishes like an inch and a half. If you go in there and look at it, it's about half body, half tail. That's right. So it fishes lighter. <clears throat> what we might do this spring is add the inch and a half one. I done it because of mold size. It's got more cavities in the mold. I can shoot more at a time, guys. That means a lot to me, and I don't mean much to y'all. And the Stinger, to be honest with you, the Stinger and the Stinger Junior, uh, wasn't selling good. I bet you before I put them on sale, I'd sell a bag a month. Now I'm selling them just a bag every order. That's right, because a dollar ninety nine a bag. So some of y'all have already asked me about certain colors I'm out of and restock them. No, I put the new colors in the BA Stingers, and we'll go from there. I've got plenty of colors, guys, and the BA Stinger fish is just as good. If you like this, if you like the original Stinger this time, it's order the BA Stinger. I promise you'll be happy with it. Uh, if you've seen Sam's video today, Wildlife Adventures, he was catching fish with the BA Stinger and the LC Shad and two colors I'm playing with. And he said, I'm going to try this new color, the BA Stinger. And he was catching fish on it. The BA Stinger works just fine. Donnie commented this week. He, he ordered some baits. He ordered some BA Stingers. He said he liked them. So... They work just as fine, guys. Just switch over to those. I can make more at a time. and That makes a big difference to me. The Stinger's molds are only 10. 10 at a time. That's right. All right, y'all ready? So here we go. I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. 152. Man, we're hitting odd numbers. We had 166 last week. But the week before that, we had 50. All right, let's uh, click on this. Let's move along here. Tadpole Jr., Tadpole Junior guys, skips great. It's like the Tweety Bird, it skips great. But it's the same body style. Tweety Bird has a split tail. Tadpole Junior has a, uh, it's, the tail's not flat. The tail is actually oval shaped. It's kind of rounded to the edge. Makes it move easier in the water. So if you haven't tried it, it might be a good bait check out. I got, still got plenty of those. They sell pretty good. All right. The number is 152. All right. Look at there. There's 150. James. Okay, wrote that down, so I'll go back and find him. Well, there's only two numbers left, right? Appreciate everybody playing along. Some weeks we get more guess guesses than others. Some weeks we don't. It just but guys, appreciate you guys that stick with me. And keep playing every week. You got a chance to win. I, the uh, fellow I mailed out to last week. The one last week, he said he got his baits. He commented today. So we didn't have as many guesses today. He commented back and said he got his baits. So there you go. That was fast. So he wasn't that far from me. He was in North Carolina. Okay? So that really helps that he wasn't that far from me. That's, and I mail out on Fridays. Now, if you watch this video, I told you to come back and uh, make check and see if you won. And... On Thursday, when I load it, see if you won. 
And if you get with me tomorrow and send me your address, all right, uh, if you've ordered lately, just come and say, I ordered three weeks ago, I ordered a month ago. Uh, and this is my address, I hadn't changed any. I, I, I'll have it if you've ordered lately. And we'll go from there, and I will mail that to you on Friday, okay? All right. I think I covered everything. Appreciate y'all guys. Uh, appreciate your orders. Like I say, orders have been good this month. August was decent, but got a little slow a couple weeks. There was a couple weeks I only had three or four. But so far this month, I've had an order almost every day. And uh seems like I get most of my orders on Saturdays and Sundays, which is great. I sit down Sunday evening and fill them all, get them all piled up. I used to have like five or six grand on Monday. That's fine. I know what it is. Y'all have time to sit down and look at the site. That's I understand. Sometimes that's why I do a lot of my orders on Friday nights, Saturday nights. I sit and take my time, whatever I'm looking for, and look over it, write down what I want, make a list. I go like, wow, seventy-five dollars, a hundred dollars. Let me see if I can, let me see if I actually need everything on my list. <laughs> I know y'all do that too, don't you? But hey, go ahead, go ahead and spend that hundred dollars. Uh, now I do. I appreciate y'all guys. And I, again, I say this a lot. I'm trying to come up with colors that are different from everybody else's. I got a comment somewhere this week by a couple of colors. I said, man, I haven't seen anything like that, and it's working good for me. If you order something strange, don't be surprised it don't work good for you. You're showing your fish in your area something they're not used to seeing, or a color they're not used to seeing, or a body shape. Okay? The cricket, I said, the cricket works great for me here. I, uh, I, got, I got something coming up for, for you with the cricket. And I heard a lot of people say, oh, you know, it's great during the Mayfly hatch, and it was. But guys, don't give up on it after the Mayfly hatch. It looks like a little crawfish too, right? Or some kind of, maybe a stonefly or other creatures in the water. They'll still hit it, even when the mayflies are gone. Okay? Promise you. So, there you go. All right, got next week's video, the Sunday Porter Catch coming. Uh, and I'm going to get out tomorrow and Friday. I think I'm going to fish the next two days uh, and, and see if I can't make a few videos for y'all. i got another house to paint. I'm going to get started on. Once I get into something like that, guys, it gets tough for me to quit. I only get to fish on Saturday morning a little bit or, or uh, the weekend. That's it. So if I can make a video or two ahead of time, that way I know I got something for you, right? That's why I like to sandbag them, I reckon. I like to know I like to know on on Saturday that I have a video already for Wednesday. See what I'm saying? I already have one for the next Sunday. I like to stay a week ahead. Appreciate y'all guys. We'll see y'all next time. Fishing Lake Country.